hello and welcome to this video in this video we will be designing a vertical antenna for 40 meter band using mmana-gal software so let's get started let's go to the geometry tab and write the name of the antenna 40 meter vertical let us enter 7.1 megahertz as the center frequency let us go to the wire edit section and draw the antenna. We'll choose exit plane with new wire button. We draw an antenna uh, which is a vertical antenna, wire number one, length 10 meters. Why 10 meters? Because quarter wave length of 40 meters is 10 meters. So we have drawn uh, the antenna and let us press OK. In the view tab you can see a vertical radiating element wire number one length 10 meters we need to introduce the source or feed point at the beginning of wire number one so in geometry tab we write wire one beginning if you go to the view tab again you can see that the source has been introduced the next step is to check the performance of the antenna in the calculate tab uh, we need to do a ground setup since it is a vertical antenna if you press the button ground setup you can see certain values here if you open the website for mmana-gal you can find this table which gives us values of dielectric constant and conductivity for various types of ground for this case we have chosen dry field or forest the values for dielectric constant and conductivity are 13 and 5 respectively here you can see that dielectric is 13 and conductivity is 5 we need to check this box uh, in order to define ground radials for this antenna let us start with eight ground radials of quarter wavelength the radius of the wire is 1 mm let us press ok let us choose the material for the antenna as copper wire with this configuration made let us press start here you can see that the antenna uh, is uh, giving us SWR of 1.93 with current configuration let us plot a SWR curve to check where the antenna is resonant if I press uh, the resonance, uh, you can see that the antenna is currently resonant at 7.299. But this is not what we want. We want the antenna to be resonant at 7.1 megahertz. So we need to do wire scaling. Please check my other videos uh, to know more about wire scaling. So we should remember that currently the antenna is a resonant at 7.299. We go to the geometry tab and enter 7.299. We press the wire scale and the old frequency shown is 7.299 which we feed here. The new frequency that we want is 7.1 MHz so we enter it here. The software has calculated a multiplying factor which it will apply to the antenna element uh, and uh, it will bring the resonant point from 7.299 to 7.1 megahertz let us press ok here you can see that the change has taken place earlier we had defined the vertical antenna element as 10 meters the software has scaled the wire to 10.28 meters let us change this value back to 7.1 for future calculations. If we go to calculate tab and press start, you can see that the SWR has gone to 1.36 from 1.93. Let us check, check the SWR curve one more time. Here you can see that now the antenna is perfectly resonant at 7.1. At the extreme ends of the band that is 7 megahertz uh, it is 1.6 uh, 
uh, SWR and at 7.2 it is lower than 1.5 SWR. This shows uh, that the antenna is uh, giving us a very good performance. Let us check the exact values. At 7 megahertz it is giving 1.56. At 7.2 megahertz it is giving 1.45 and at 7.1 we saw earlier it is giving 1.36 so the antenna is performing really well uh, for some of the common frequencies uh, that uh, are used here in india for different nets you can see the values of swr for 7.0 for 7.1 for 7.06 is 1.4, 4.7.08 is 1.37. So the values that this antenna is giving are quite good. In addition, uh, we can use the LC match which is shown here for different frequencies. Uh, the software would suggest uh, different values of inductance and capacitance. Uh, in this LC coupler. Uh, this will make both the sides, that is the TX side and antenna side impedance to match so that maximum power will uh, tr be transferred and the SWR for that pr particular frequency will be low. Of course, some of the power loss will occur in this components. Let us change uh, the frequency back to 7.1 and press start once. As you can see that the SWR is 1.36, the gain is 0.76 at an elevation angle of 26.7. Now, in the ground setup, if we increase the number of ground radials from 8 to let's say 16, this means that we have now defined 16 quarter wave ground radials. Uh, which are of 1 mm in radius. Let us see what effect does it have on the performance of the antenna. If I press start, here you can see that the gain has gone up from 0.76 to 1.31. The elevation angle has gone low from 26.7 to 26.4. Let us increase the ground radius to 32 and check the effect here you can see that the gain has increased to 2.04 and the elevation angle has gone below so it shows us that by increasing uh, the ground radials by increasing the number of ground radials uh, the antenna is giving us a higher gain at a lower elevation angle this would be very useful for long distance communication if you see uh, the radiation patterns you can see that the vertical antenna is omnidirectional this is the bird's eye view of the antenna uh, looking from above into the antenna this is uh, the side view of the antenna uh, our antenna is on the z axis and you can see the radiation patterns on both sides of the antenna here if you click on this point you can see that at 29 degrees the gain is 0.7 dpi which is the maximum day gain in this configuration as you move away from this point you can see that the gain goes on decreasing you can save uh, this uh, radiation pattern or the far field plots by clicking save far field plots this could be useful uh, to compare uh, the far field plots with a different antenna uh, let's say a dipole i have already saved a far field plot of a dipole let us compare these two far field plots if you go to tools and compare we can load the file 
uh, for dipole and we can actually compare the radiation patterns of the two antennas you can also change the color for easy easily distinguishing between the two radiation patterns here you can see that the blue lines are of uh, the vertical antenna whereas the black line is of horizontal dipole from the left hand side figure it is clear that the vertical antenna is unidirectional as compared to the dipole you can see that the dipole is oriented along the x-axis and the radiation lobes are more towards the perpendicular direction to the direction of the antenna so this makes the dipole a bit directional as compared to the omnidirectional vertical on the right hand side it can be seen that uh, most of the radiation of uh, the dipole antenna which is currently along the x-axis is upwards and the radiation from 41 degrees to 90 degrees uh, is having higher gain values as compared to that if you see the vertical antenna radiation pattern you can see that there is hardly any radiation exactly vertically up the radiation is mostly at 30 degrees uh, elevation angle so this way we can compare the radiation patterns of two antennas with this we complete the design and checking the performance of vertical antenna i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, please do so please hit the notification bell so that you will be informed when i upload a new video and please press like button if you have liked this video thank you for watching